Today we'll be walking through using Secret Swap from start to finish. I've connected my Kepler wallet right here, and I have 10 secret available. Now, the thing with Secret Swap is we use the wrapped privacy preserving tokens when it comes to trading. So right now I own zero secret secret. I own zero secret eth. I can't even view the balance of how much I own of these right now. I know I own zero. For the sake of this tutorial, we're starting from scratch. So what's the first thing we want to do? We're going to assume you own some amount of secret in your Kepler wallet. And what we do here is convert from secret to secret secret using the Kepler tool. Now, Kepler is going to ask us right away to go ahead and add secret tokens to our Kepler wallet. We'll say yes. We'll click on submit. Go ahead and execute that contract. And once this is done, we're able to convert from secret to secret secret. So let's go ahead and convert five secret to secret secret. And note that you can go back and forth between the two. Click on convert. We'll go, go ahead and click on set fee. We'll go ahead and approve of this contract interaction. Now our balance is updated. We have five secret secret. We have 4.88 secret. So now when we go back to the bridge, you'll notice that our balance is visible for secret secret. This is possible because we generated a viewing key back on this previous page. Wrapped secret tokens, the secret version of all of these tokens, require that you generate a viewing key to look at the balance. Let's go ahead and do that for secret F. It's gonna ask us and say, hey, would you like to add this token to your Kepler wallet? Would you like to create this viewing key so you can use your balance and so that you can use secret S? We'll say yes. We'll go ahead and run this contract. It's generally recommended to create a viewing key before you swap with it, uh, less likely to bump into any errors. There's a viewing key error. Now, the reason there's a viewing key error is simply because we don't own any secret S. So let's go ahead and convert. Let's convert three secret secret over to secret F. We'll go ahead and click on swap. And you'll see now that the, uh, the UI caught up. So now we can see our balance of secret F. We own secret F, or we own zero secret F. Previously, we didn't know how much we had because that, that value was kept encrypted. But now that we created that viewing key, we can now see our balance. Now we're going to go ahead and execute the swap right here. I'm going to go ahead and approve this transaction. And just like that, my swap is complete. We can go ahead and click on our Kepler wallet here. And we can see here that uh, we own 0 0.004323 secret S located in the bottom right corner there. So our transaction was complete. We just went from secret to wrapped secret all the way to secret F. Thank you for watching this video. Please note that the swap has seen a massive increase in usage. So a lot of times there might be some UI delays, but that's par for the course as we move things forward.